check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. So here is the Pixel Plus UI specifications. The Android version here is obviously 12. The Pixel Plus UI version here is 4.6. Maintainer here is Bashrat. Kernel version we get is the Ventom kernel on this ROM. Now moving back, this is the settings page just like the pure Android 12 UI. This is the UI of the home screen which looks great, the stock Android on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. It just feels great. This is the Android 12 L version and here we get to see this of these wallpaper and style options is it just like this. Okay, first of all going to the settings, talking in the system, these are the options and we also get to see the updater but no updates are found and its current build type here is monthly so yes i don't know if the ota updates will we will receive it or not but till now i haven't received it and i'm using it from around a week now so yes now moving back these are the options we get to see this is it these are the only system options we get to see here in this room now moving back this is the digital well-being we get to see and yeah it just works fine going back these are the options in the security these are the options and we also get to see the face unlock options available the face unlock here is working perfectly fine as you can see here okay it's not that fast as you can see on the front camera we get to see this big ring the black ring for the face unlock as you can see and when it recognizes it the black ring goes and the so yeah this is a feature that whenever the phone is accessing the front camera there will be a black ring around the camera so we get to know the punch hole will become big then we get to know that the front camera is being used and the fingerprint scanner here is working perfectly fine and as you saw that fingerprint unlock animation it just looks great i just love that animation on the stock android so yes and the room has been in encrypted the android 12 room all the android 12 room gets encrypted so now when you flash another room you will have to format data from the recovery so yes just make sure you take note of it then these are the accessibility options of the android 12 available in the wallpaper and style these are the options these are the themed icons we get to see the basic colors and the according to wallpaper ones the dark theme option here is available these are the app grids we want to set so yeah and to change the wallpaper directly from the home screen just press and hold and we get to see this option now just select the wallpaper we want to set and as you can see the wallpaper has been changed so this is how we can change the wallpaper on the android 12 l version then going to the display options these are the options the dark theme night light option here is available but i don't know what just got happened the brightness just got increased as i increase the intensity the brightness is automatically getting increased and when i adjust the brightness the night mode just gets turned off the i don't get to see the yellowish tint but when i increase the intensity then as you can see it is in but when you adjust the brightness it will automatically be just turn it off so and as you can see now again when i turn off the night light and it just adjusts the brightness so there is a bug with the night light and as you can see this flickering while adjusting the brightness so yes these are some issues present here in this room while using the night light or any other kind of brightness display settings so yes yeah, so i suggest you not to use the night light it's just not working going to the colors these are the options the natural boosted and saturated now moving back this is the live display option available and currently i have turned on the anti flicker mode and if i turn off as you can see this is what it happens with the amoled displays so the anti flicker mode here is working and you can see it display perfectly fine the reading mode here is working fine but the brightness just gets increased whenever i 
turn on and off the reading mode then we can set the color calibration the picture adjustment and everything these are all the display customizations available but the default here is perfect no need to change then the auto rotate and smooth display option here is available when you turn it on the display will go to 120 hertz when and when you turn it off it will go to 60 mode 60 hertz mode so yes the 120 hertz here is working perfectly fine no issues the double tap to wake double tap to sleep on the status bar here is these options are just working perfectly fine so no issues full screen apps and everything now moving back to the customizations like this is the pixelizer and here are all the customizations available on this room so the theming options here are available the font style black theme now moving back here the state these are the status bar customizations the battery style battery percentage and everything moving back these are the quick settings options available the buttons customizations and these are the gestures in the gestures we can adjust the gesture bar length we want as you can see the pill length we can customize it from here i prefer the long one it just feels great the two button nav and the three button nav these are the options available in the gestures the power button and the call the wake volume buttons wake device answer call and everything these are the options available then in the gestures these are the options the quick tap to start actions and you can double tap on the back to take the screenshot you can set whatever the action you want from here as you can see take screenshot access your digital assistant play or pause media but i suggest you to turn it off because every now and then when you put your phone down or when you pick it up it just automatically takes the screenshots and so yeah that is what happens when you turn this option on the double tap quickly open camera and everything these are all the options and three finger swipe for the screenshot option here is also available now moving back these are the lock screen options four small clock as you can see by default we get to see this big clock here but we can force it to smaller one like this so yeah this is also op an option available lock screen charging in four double tap to sleep and everything the notification option here is available and vibrate on connect which is really a useful feature the miscellaneous launch music app on headset connect and this is the game space available so these were some customizations of the Pixel Plus UI. Now going to the home screen, this is the UI and it's just great. And this is the Telegram pop-ups, we get to see the quick chats like this. And if you still haven't joined the Telegram group, this is the group, just join the Telegram group right now. Now talking about the safety net status, the safety net status has passed and all the banking apps, everything here are just running perfectly fine no issues with the banking apps and talking about the performance here scores are 477 and 1442 the, so the scores are average and great overall the performance on this room here is just not an issue it's just great there will be no lags or stutters the performance on this room here is gonna be great and for day-to-day -day usage the room here is very smooth also talking about the gaming performance like the bgmi many of you might be playing and so the bgmi performance here is also not an issue you have no lags or stutters in the game and you can play it the gameplay here is smooth now talking about the drm info we get to see the wide wine l1 support here but as you can see here we get only get to see the 60 and 120 hertz refresh rate support on this room 90 hertz here is not supported now talking about the bugs there was there is a major bug but it's not that frequent i had faced a random reboot bug and in the one week of my usage i have faced it two times so it's not that frequent and sometimes the phone just gets switched off automatically so these are some bugs present and another bug here is the brightness issue where i am feeling that after switching from the stock room, the brightness here in the sunlight it is a little bit low. The display is not getting to its full brightness. So I am facing issue with the brightness also and 
it automatically adjusts the brightness even if the auto brightness is turned off like this brightness will suddenly increase and suddenly decrease like that it sometimes that ha that kind of things happens in the outdoor mode when there is a strong sunlight so i am feeling a bit low brightness so yeah that is also a bug now another thing here is the wi-fi calling the wi-fi calling you need to turn it on in the settings just just search for Wi-Fi calling and turn this option on. By default, Wi-Fi calling is turned off. So you need, you need to turn it on from the settings just like this. So yeah, that was it. These were the only bugs. Otherwise, everything here is great. The ROM here has been pretty much smooth and usable for the daily driver. Everything here is working so far. The camera we get to see here is the default cam the anx cam we get to see here on this room which is working perfectly fine and also the g cam here is working talking about the battery backup the battery backup on this room here is pretty good compared to the stock room as you can see from 88 percent to 51 percent battery drain i got 2 hours and 23 minutes of screen on time which is really good screen on time at 120 hertz I have, I have never used this phone at 60 hertz so yeah this is the battery backup at 120 hertz so it's really great battery backup and to charge from 31 percent to 88 percent it took 46 minutes only so yeah the battery charging time and the battery backup on this rom here is pretty good so no worries in that too so yeah this was it for now if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to hit the like button if you are new to this channel then please guys subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions then you can ask me in the comment section below or in the telegram group. I'll meet you in the next one till then stay safe have fun and bye.